So, I know, but I have a whole bunch of things I have to go over that's not related to this. It's okay, I'll be moving in just a second. I know. Okay, does everybody follow me with um, my rewriting this as a product? That's the basic part, right? Can everybody agree to do this? Now we get to the hard part. And this is come, especially comes into like the last homework quiz that we talked about is being able to simplify these. You guys have to know how to factor. All right, the other one, the last problem we did, the factoring was kind of easy. We just had factoring out GCFs. Where here we got to factor trinomials. And these become a little bit more difficult. You guys have to know how to factor your trinomials. And we just go to each one. So the first one I do 16 and 10. What two numbers multiply to give me 16 but add to give me 10? Come on, man. Yeah, you should be writing this down. What should numbers multiply to give me 16, add to give me 10? 8 and 2. All right, so therefore, the top equation can be factored as x plus 8 times x plus 2. Now we go to the bottom equation. Negative, excuse me, negative 16 and negative 6. What two numbers multiply to give me? Sorry. I believe it is. Let me double check. Um, which problem am I doing? Yeah, it's 16. What two numbers multiply to give me negative 16, add to give me negative 6? No. No, eight. Eight, and two. 8 and 2. But which one's negative? Eight. If they're add to give you negative 6, then the, negative eight, then the 8 should be negative. So the denominator gets factored into x minus 8 times x minus 6 times x squared minus 64. Does anybody remember the factoring technique of this, what we had used? Whenever you have two terms and you're factoring it, huh? Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, sorry. When anybody, whenever, whenever we see two terms, we either factor the GCF or factor by the diff, difference of two squares. If you guys don't remember the difference of two squares, the difference of two squares is a factoring technique that we went over in this class that states when you have a square term minus another square term, you can factor that into a minus b times a plus b. So we look at this. Is x squared an x term is a square term? Is 64 a squared number? Yeah, 8, right? 8 times 8 is 64. So therefore, I can factor this into x minus 8 times x plus 8 all over x plus 8, which I can't factor any further. So now what you guys see is once I, so basically guys, it's like by steps. Rewrite it as a product. Factor everything you can factor. And the last thing is, remember we talked about, if you guys have, a th if you have the same number divided by itself, Justin, that's your first official warning, okay? You're gonna start losing points in class if you can run. If you have a number divided by itself, that's equal to one, right? Three divided by three is one. If you have an expression divided by itself, that's also equal to 1. x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is also equal to 1. So now what we do is we just find terms that are exactly the same in the numerator denominator. That divides to 1 over 1. We have x minus 8 over x minus 8. We have x plus 8 over x plus 8. And the only thing we're left with is x plus 8. Because everything else divides to 1. And x plus 8 in the numerator, so I could write it over 1 if I wanted to. That's it. That's going to be it.